हेलो माय नेम इज राजन अरोरा एंड वेलकम टू माय कोर्स एसेंशियल्स ऑफ सीक्वल सर्वर परफॉर्मेंस फॉर एवरी डेवलपर यू आर वाचिंग द वीडियो ऑफ मॉड्यूल फाइव कैप्चरिंग व्हाट योर एप्लीकेशन इज डूइंग इनसाइड सीक्वल सर्वर पार्ट नाइन यूजिंग एक्सटेंडेड इवेंट्स इन सीक्वल एज योर इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस कोर्स प्लीज स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द कोर्स इंट्रोडक्शन वीडियो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग थैंक यू इफ यू आर यूजिंग सीक्वल एज योर you can still capture what your application is doing inside of sql azure with extended events but there are couple of small differences that you need to account for first of all you are going to want a version of sql server management studio that fully supports sql azure what this means is that you want to get the latest version of management studio and use that to set up your extended event sessions earlier versions of management studio would allow you to connect to a sql azure database and run queries but if you try to create an extended event session you would get an error with the latest version of management studio though the ability is set up and extended event session has been extended to sql azure database as well so you will be able to use the same user interface that we have seen over the last few clips to set up your event capture session in sql azure the second thing you need to do is to set up a storage location of where you can write your extended event trace files to with sql azure being a platform as a service offering you don't have a traditional file system available where you can write files to but what you can do is to write your files to azure storage and this article on microsoft.com tells you exactly how to do that if you read through this article you will see that there are two steps step 1 is that you run a powershell script to create azure storage container and this part also create the storage access policy that will be used to allow your sql azure instance to be able to write to that container when you run this powershell script you will get an output like i am showing here and it is this information that you will need to feed into the second step of the process step 2 evolves running some transact sql in your sql azure database if you look at the tsql on the microsoft.com page as i am here you see that the sql creates a sample data at the top of the script and then a sample trace at the bottom what is really important though is step number 2 because this is what gives sql azure the credential it needs to write to the storage location so what is happening here is that you are creating some azure storage putting a security policy on that storage and then giving the credential needed to write to that storage to your sql azure instance the script cover the details of the exact command to do this but big picture that's what's going on once you have the storage set up now we can go into management studio and define an extended event session when you are looking at an azure database you will see that the extended event is under the database itself not out under a management folder like in the on premises version but otherwise we just right click on the sessions folder and say new session just like we did before the selection of the events to capture what fields you want to capture in those events and the setup of any filter is going to be like before the only real difference is that when we get the data storage tab you are going to put the url of your azure storage container in the storage url field with the file name and now this is where your extended event file is going to be created so really the process of creating a trace using extended events on sql azure is very similar to the on premises version of sql server Just make sure that you have the latest version of Management Studio, and get a storage location set up, and then you will be able to capture what your application is doing inside of a Azure database, just like you would be able to do with the on-premises version of SQL Server. Let's go ahead and wrap up this module in the next video. If you like this video, please do share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you, and see you in the next video.